Most people in America are familiar with they have to work most of their life. When we do corporate training on behalf of our company to an, a new employee, it's true. It has a cost. It has a cost because, generally speaking, we do on-the-job training or we provide training and we pay people to be in the training. We pay them as an employee the minute they start for a corporation because that is what today's expectations are. That if I'm giving you my time, I'm trading my time for dollars for your company. There are other people in the world who trade effort for dollars, and as a retail employee, you've got to teach people that. And it's unfortunate that it's sort of your responsibility, but today, when you're dealing much primarily with sort of undereducated population as your employees, because other people you might consider overqualified and too educated for your job, despite the fact that they might need the money, is that you have to remind people about the customers that come to a store and all the walks of life that they come from. And the, all the locks, walks of life that they come from helps you to talk about what is and isn't. And I'm struggling in a way to talk about this at this moment. The employee's responsibility to a consumer and their life. This is where we get into sort of the bad behaving employee's conversation and let the group of people give you lists of what they've experienced, what they've observed, and what they know about from the world of a bad behaving employee. At the present moment, we see a shitload in the political marketplace and in the news of bad behaving employees of a city who are called police and law enforcement and sheriff. Many jails, many sheriff's departments are being sued in class action lawsuits, and many police officers who are immature, old football people, old sports people, old marine people, whatever, old military people, are out of touch with how companies work and can illegally and immorally impact your employees by walking in and providing information or seeking information in their version of investigation which might not at all as a patrolman be their duties for their quote-unquote company or group for the city police. What I'm trying to say to you is that the power of information and the grossness of gossip can destroy a local store environment and experience for your consumers. What I'm also warning you about is that there are people who will lie and steal from your company by pretending to be employees or accelerating their actual job duties in the community to behave as if they have the right to direct your employees. What I mean is that a officer of the law might be off duty and in his wife's vehicle and see someone on a property and overstep his bounds to imply that someone doesn't have the right to be on a public space of a company. The truth of the matter is that people often look for a place to get out of their car to do things, but at the same time, if the person does not have a car, we cannot necessarily call it loitering and we should not, under any circumstances, have low-level employees calling proper property management companies to complain about the different types of demographic sets that are on properties today because more and more people will be dying of COVID, but more and more people will be facing poverty today. So the employee has to be reminded of whether or not your state is an at-will state and whether or not they could be fired for disavowing their company licensing of their rights to be an employee representing their company. And I guess this is the best way to say it because a company employee is representing your company at all times. Whether they're inside of the store, outside of the store, helping someone pack something in their car, or whether or not they're on their break in a uniform, they are representing your company face. At the same time, they know damn well who their supervisor is and someone else cannot come in from a corporate office is not true, but someone cannot come in from a different 
industry, a different business, a friendship, and try to direct them in what to do on behalf of their company. At the same time, most people who are between 16 to 24 do not have a fully developed adult brain, according to scientific fact, which means they're not going to process their company above themselves. Even managers who are in their 40s demonstrate that, that they have a hard time releasing their personal emotions or their personal experience with someone in and outside of a store when a customer comes back to their place.